glutes. Hey, look at that. It's a tiny ring with a stone in it still, but it's copper. <laughs> Mosquitoes are already there. Yeah, what a hoax. Uh, yeah, it's not that. Oops, and this, there goes the stone. Yeah, there's the stone. It's a blue one, I guess. Yeah, not that exciting, but it's a ring. Anyway, moving on. Found a little non-military badge. It's German. It's called ASSO, but SS, I don't know. Autobahn organization or something like that. ASSO means is a abbreviation of antisocial person, so but I doubt it that somebody would wear it. Uh, this looks very familiar. It looks it looks like um, those Nazi bitches attachments. It's pretty heavy, but it's not silver. It's brass. I'm gonna research that. It's a mountain, so uh, I don't know. Perhaps a mountaineer driving. I don't know. Ah, uh, you will see it in the picture right after that footage. Moving on. It seems like I found my first silver for today. No, it's not. It's just a pocket watch, but not silver. No, it's not. You can clearly see it. It's plated. But a half pocket watch. Why not? Ooh la la, what is that? This is gold. It's very heavy. Yeah. Uh, it's greenish, so... No, but what is it? Is it part of a watch or pendant or a... I don't know. i clean it with the brush and show you. Hmm, I'm not sure what that is. Could certainly be part of a watch. It's heavy, but it's not gold. Oh, those mosquitoes are eating me up. Oh, horrible. And that's very nice, actually. <laughs> yeah. Hope I get more of that. Moving on. I found a makeup box of some sort. I guess there's powder and a mirror in it. Ah, uh, nice. Nice design, huh? Isn't it? I'll try to open it without breaking it and uh, show you what's inside, okay? Alright. Yeah, it's exactly what I thought it is. And, you know, it... <laughs> Oh, it smells, it smells real good. So under this little lid there's got to be the powder. I try to do it live. Oops. It's open. Yeah, there it was. Don't want to break it. Yeah, there is still some... Wow, that smells really good. <laughs> yeah. Very nice. Very nice. It's not worth anything, but, you know... This is a nice mirror. I'm gonna clean it. 
Yeah. Nice find. Nice find. All right. Moving on. I found a piece of a pocket watch, but this time, look at that. It's gold. It's not that heavy, so it might be gold plated, but anyway, the rest should be silver. Well, quite a nice find. If it's gold, it's marvelous. So, uh, moving on. And again, one of those swastika buttons, but this looks to be in kind of a right condition now. It's zinc as well. Clean it a bit and show you. Mm, yeah, you can still see a little bit of uh, gold gill left, but that's a cheap one. I found a real brass one and it went shiny. But anyway, nice find. I'm moving on. I'm not doing live digs because uh, I did a few, I can't show it because I actually duck only trash, so I won't bother you with, with trash. So perhaps uh, if I've got the real deal signal, I'll do one, but anyway, moving on. <laughs> Usually I find uh, harmonica reeds, but now I've found a whole harmonica, but look. It's a midget one. <laughs> that's not old, really, but that's nice. It's uh, Hohner. It's a very famous brand for harmonicas in Germany. Made in Germany. Uh, when I was a child, I had one like that. It's a pendant, actually. Look at that. Here's the catch. Yeah, a nice find. I guess it's 30 to 40 years. Not much. I found another party badge. That's a party badge. Look at that. This is how it came out of the hole. I just put the pinpointer in there and there it revealed itself. Let's see what nick it is. Oh, it's a good one. It's a brass. Ooh, look at the colors. Very good, very good. This is going to clean up very nice. Yeah, maker's mark, it's made in, oh, wait a second, uh, look at that and show it to you. It reads P. Maybauer, Berlin, Southwest, 98, or 88, Geschlossene uh, Gesellschaft. So it's got to be a very early one, at least in my world, uh, because there is no RZM number, which was when the Nazis became the leading party, uh, the head of state, they branded everything with RZM, Reichszeugmeisterei. Yeah, as a first find, as a first decent find, uh, it's quite all right. As a find, it's quite all right. <laughs> Moving on. My next find is a... I haven't looked at it yet, but I guess I know what it is. It's a pendant. Here you can see it. And it's copper. And I guess it's a... But no, wait. No, this doesn't look like it, so it's not. I thought it would be um, uh, Lerne Leiden ohne zu klagen, but this is a religious pendant. This is Mother Mary and there are some other people praising her. There is an inscription, so I will... Yeah, it's a religious pendant. I will clean it and show you. Um, 
I can't decipher it here, uh, not even with the magnifying glass, so I think it's very brittle, so mm, I hope it survives the way home. Here already, just brushing it gently with a toothbrush, it came off. It's old copper, so, and the, the soil is some kind of sour here. Yeah, let's see what this turns out. Moving on, nice find. I made a strange find, but uh, due to the fact that I found something very similar before, I think I know what it is. This is brass. Um, this is the piece of uh, the handle of a German Nazi sword or dagger. And this is um, the the crest plate on the side, on the side of the the handle here, and on the other side would be crests with a swastika, obviously. Yeah, I think that what it that's what it is. Nice find. Uh, I'm in a kind of a hot spot. Um, this area, this tree, that tree. And that tree, in this little area, I found the um, party badge, the religious pendant, this one, and uh, five Reichspfennig in zinc from 1942. Let's see what else there is to uncover and uh, moving on. I did find the hilt. Look at that. This is the hilt of the thing I just uncovered. And one of the sides here is where the other part would belong. Let's check that. No, I guess it's here. Uh, could be, but there's a part missing, I guess, because this is clearly an eagle. Wait, I clean it and uh, show you. So it must have been this side, because you can see the beginning of an eagle. It's here, uh, right wing, left wing, the head. And then, wait a second, it would have been something like that, so there's a part missing, but, ha, amazing, so somebody dismantled this sword, he most probably took the blade and left the other things here, so. Here, so I will check this little area here if I'm right, if there is another part or another parts. All right, moving on, nice one. I guess I found another part and I'm doing that live. Cracking signal in here. And there I found the piece of the hilt. There I found the little side thingy. And here we have the same signal. Let's see what that is. Oh, I'm stupid. It's out of the hole, it's in the flood, it's in here. Let's check that. No, it's a coin. <laughs> It's sake, it's five finish again. Where, what, 
It's 19. Wait. 1941, 5 Reich Pfennig. Yeah, that's what it is. Okay, moving on. So, and another signal here. 5 Reich Pfennig, hilt, side thing. Here, another good signal. Let's check that. Certainly, I loud 85. 85. Yeah, that's it. Look at that. It's the other side thing. Ha. Amazing. What is this one? Uh huh, uh huh. Let's check that. To the light. It's a crusty thing. Yeah. Ah, oh, wait. I clean it and uh, show you. Yeah. There it is. And the other side thing. <laughs> Amazing. You can see still a little bit gold gilt in here. Yeah. What a find. Moving on. I dug a hole here and it was a crappy signal, 55, and out came this, look at that, it's amazing again, it's, I, seems to have, I seem to have it with the cutlery lately, I don't know if that is silver, I doubt it actually, no, it's silver plated, here comes the copper through, but anyway, that's, it's silver plated for sure, because this cleans kind of all right and it looks yeah like it is a nice find it is a nice find loving it woohoo moving on Found a nice pressure button and it seems it's go out of the sun and it's go away and that it's oh come on and it's gold gilded don't know if I'm able to clean that or if the gilt will go away and it's with a shank it's new to me this is the logo of my YouTube channel so you probably know that it's I found a real golden or golden plated one um, at a battlefield of the Seven Years War. This I don't think it's that old. I don't know since uh, it could be that they were worn still in the First World War. But that is the time I would suggest 1900 to 1918. Yeah, happy with that. Moving on.